Hi, in, in this video we'll see how to make a, a form approval in Office 365. So here is our website. Go to first our email. And first we make our Excel file so we can get the form submissions and approval so make a blank workbook and give some name to it and something submissions or anything this way in our submissions will come and this is empty you don't need anything here so this is spreadsheet now I go to insert and I click on form I make a form and so it could be any form maybe health survey and I can make a question where are you from other one how do you what are your favorite veggies and we can make it multiple answers so you can write broccoli broccoli spinach carrots cauliflower cucumber okay or you can leave it we get the idea you can get these veggies or add other options okay we just dump the time being a short one where are you from what are your favorite vegetables We add one more question. We can a rating question. How do you rate your fitness level? Okay, three question done. This is a form. And now what we need to do we have to make our the flow now. So we can go back to our this all apps and now we click on this power automate if you don't see it then click on all apps and under all apps you can scroll down and you will see power automate so we click on it so here comes the power automate and we have the flow we want to make a new flow so I click on the new and create from template and I want to get some form approval so I click on approval add a few examples so the first one is start approval when a new item is added or request manager or send approval to or send form responses for approval this make more sense to me so we can select it and we can edit it edit it as well so let's start from here so I select it and if I scroll down this is the form you may 
need to wait get some approval and then I click on continue and then this form comes so let's see it here you have to pick option when a new response is submitted so pick a form so we'll pick the form that we just made our form was I forgot what was it it was nutrition survey or health survey what was it let's go back see the form it was health survey okay so we go back here and we create this health survey okay so we got the form and when the response data comes now so now one more thing i will show you that these are like a toggle if you click on this gray area it goes away you click here again it comes back same thing over here as well it will so pick a form so i pick scroll down i have many other forms i pick the same health for health survey and now start and wait for approval so you keep it first to respond we can get some title we can write any message here maybe call it health health survey and assign to separated by semicolon so you can assign it to yourself and also add my email address and with semicolon you can add your email address so now I assign to my myself details here's what you should want into the in the message so we can say dear colleague friend the form is submitted for your approval and we can even get some form details over here for example uh, these were the question so we can write uh, where are you from question okay. we can also write here the other question we can pick and we can also pick that who submitted the form responders email and we can also pick these other questions how's your fitness so all those questions and even the submission time so i got all the details from the form so we can tell the person when the person is approving it that what is in the form and now i mean we can write some text with it too where are you from so we can write the question here where are you from so i have the question and this will be the answer and what are your favorite veggies i can write here what are your favorite vegetables and for this question is the responder email and how do you rate your fitness level actually these two questions this question may go later so you can select it and I can control X cut it and after this I can paste it here responder email and here I can type submission type okay so I got my these are the questions and these are the values when the person will submit so this form is ready I can select on it and it will go away and condition when response is equal to approve yeah as it is no change so when it is yes 
by default is going to some share point so I can erase it select this thing and delete it you say okay and I add an action over here and I say if answer is yes and click on this mail and this send this email notification and we who should be sent to so you send email to the guy who submitted the form you scroll down here is the responders email yeah so we got the responders email and can have subject congratulations congratulations health survey health survey we we'll write some message here congratulations your survey is it true or received or something you can still do all that messages here as well and if it is no you can send the email to responders email and we can see now subject rejection reject health survey we can write some here dear colleague dear colleague the survey is not approved is what is rejected okay so far so good and we if we want we can still get all those messages here as well if I select here we wrote all these messages if you want we can copy it and paste it here as well in these messages so the question is more informed response okay so now we save it so I save this one and it save if I go on back if I click on back it's yeah here it is send form responses for approval I did I can even give some name here as well so I know what I'm talking about I call it health survey approval so this is the health survey approval so now this is my spreadsheet which is empty so I have three things now I have my spreadsheet from where I started from spreadsheet I got the form which is here and then I also went to my this one and I made made my uh, this approval so let's go and fill this form and let's see where are you from from Nashville what are your favorite veggies maybe broccoli spinach carrots cauliflower fitness level I can see this thing and I submit it and to get the message response if I go to my spreadsheet I will see this form is, is submitted now okay this form is there and if I go to my automate if I go to my email I got 
this helser wave flow form that form is is submitted here and it is pending for approval and you can see where are you from nashville what are your favorite veggies broccoli spinach carrots those came here this is a form and i say click on approve and i say well done something click on submit then I get the approval message it's good congratulations approved so that's it